Hi, this is Terry with Exact Line Tools. Today we're going to do a repair on a custom panel truck. This is a good looking panel truck, an older restoration that has developed some paint problems. We can see here, you have to look closely, but you can see a blister in the paint. And we have these in various parts of the back of the van where there was a lot of extensive bodywork done in order to create the shape that they were looking for. There's one of the blisters and we'll look around and we'll see that they mostly appear in the tight corners of the style lines both on the um, section here where we're looking at which is the, um, the panel truck where the windows would be normally. If we look around the other side we'll see that there's a, another deficiency in the paint on the style line in the corner. We can see it goes all the way down to the metal and it has uh, erupted out and flaked off and so we realize that we need to get to the bottom of this on all these various areas that are showing some deterioration like this spot right here. We've got several coats of paint and plastic filler over this whole area. We have more up here I've marked off with the tape and uh, it, there is in various spots uh, this contamination which uh, probably was just a little bit of oil that was in that corner when it got wiped off it didn't get wiped off clean enough you really have to clean out the corners on bare metal in order to get any wax or grease or anything that contamination that might be in there we see it right along this wheel flare you can see how the paint is it's got a distortion in it because it's released from the metal the plastic filler and the paint another blister right there we can see so we're going to start fixing these and the way we're going to do that is we're going to take uh, a palm held DA and get into it with 120 grit sandpaper on that DA and just buzz it down feathering it back until we get to the bottom of all the paint and the plastic filler right to where the metal is. That way we can remove the areas that are loose clean the contaminated area with wax and grease remover. We can see here on another section where we, I chipped it back and it just released from the metal and uh, that's going to need the same treatment. So we feather it back all the paint layers and plastic filler and get down to the bare metal where it's, um, it's still intact and we clean that off and we will apply plastic filler. You can see down along the wheel flare we have a whole bunch of it down there too and we're just going to have to start by uh, cleaning it out, uh, feathering it back, plastic filling it and then going on from there in order to get it to have the exact shape that it had originally. So here I am applying plastic filler after feathering it back feathering back all the paint and the plastic filler getting to the metal and now I'm pressing tightly the plastic filler into that area that I've removed the paint and the filler. And I'll just put it over here a little bit more and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the blade to give that shape back to that area because we have a big dip in it now from where we removed all the paint and all the plastic. So we're building that up now with a new layer of plastic filler after cleaning it and removing the contamination. And when I apply the plastic filler, I'm pressing it down nice and tight so to get maximum adhesion to the metal and all the paint that I have feathered back. I can see that the blade very quickly brings it into the correct shape. I'm removing the excess from that area and um, letting it cure. Lightly sanding it. You can see I need to apply some more plastic filler to build it up to the shape it was originally. 
and we just apply our plastic filler just trying to press it in nice and tight that's all I'm doing here and adding a little bit extra so I have plenty to make my sweep with and we're taking the blade and we are going to transition I'm holding the blade on both ends of the repair so it takes the shape of the original panel that is all the work that's been done in order to make this panel truck so beautiful I want to uh, blend into that I want to remove the problem areas and then recreate the shape that um, takes the same shape as the rest of the vehicle after all the work that they did to make it a great looking truck put a little bit more along here just to try to get a little bit better sweep with a little bit better finish on it and I'll move over it the Teflon laminated spring steel blade uh, glides over that plastic filler and uh, removes all of the overfill and the stuff outside of the area. I just move it off real quick with the spreader. Now I'm going to apply just a, a coat of putty glaze. Very thin. I'm pressing it nice and tight. I already have the shape. I've filled all the low spot that was created by sanding back the paint and the bondo and now I'm just finishing off the mud work that I've started with the previous two sweeps and I'm just pressing it in trying to get it to uh, be nicely nice and tightly pressed against the body and again this is just a thin coat I won't be using the blade for this I'm just pressing it on there with the uh, spreader and uh, Again, this is just to fill the minor imperfections that remain after doing the initial blade work. I'll move across it a little bit better, pushing it down into that style line where the contamination emerged from. And um, we're going to just let that cure. And now I'm going to buzz that down with a standard finish DA and just knock it down lightly with 180 grit. Don't want to take too much off of it, just smoothing it down. I'm removing the tape so I can smooth it down into the paint. Got a little line there from the tape. And we'll just buzz that down real quick. I don't want to take any of the paint off of the vehicle that um, unnecessarily that I don't need to remove for repairs. I want to leave that on there as part of the repair medium and to blend it with the original shape of the vehicle, the original custom shape that was uh, imparted in that whole area, which I'm sure took a lot of time to do. And I'm buzzing it down, just smoothing it in. I can, I'm watching it to see that uh, I don't take off too much of it. And I'll do a little bit more sanding. With a block. I have my hard block with 180 grit on it. And I'm going to start to smooth this so I have the shape that... Uh, we're looking to achieve that blends into the remaining portions of the body. And I'm just getting into that style line a little bit, just taking my time, slowly sanding it. Now I'm going to sand the areas above the style line, just lightly working it. I'm very close to being done with this. I don't want to take off too much and go into the paint. Um, I just want to smooth it down so it, it uh, fits into the body's contour perfectly. Again, I'm just working that upper section above the style line. Just rolling it over that slight curve, keeping it straight and reproducing the original shape. And 
knocking down the both sides of that repair on the front side and the rear side smooths in pretty good there and now I'm going to run down that uh, tight corner on the style line and just cut that in a little bit so we have a nice straight line smoothing smoothing the uh, other side of the area that I've applied plastic filler to blending that into the paint a little bit better until it lies in there perfectly you can see I've begun repairs above this area and below it I'm just kind of working all around the car at the same time it's, it's basically the back of the car now I've applied a piece of tape because I want to get the line uh, I want to keep control of that so I'm putting a piece of tape on top of the piece of tape that I just laid in there because uh, it's harder for me to get in this particular circumstance uh, the shape of that style line from the bottom so I, re I put the uh, piece of tape um, there first just so I could put the top piece on and use it as my guide now I'm going to take my block my hard block and I'm going to sand that lower section of the style line first applying some dry guide coat which I recommend you use on any repair it uh, is the best way to go I think much better than the spray can you don't have to wait for it to dry and it um, gives you a good indication of any imperfections pushing in with my finger a little bit now I'm starting the blocking process just resting it in there on the style line just taking it really gentle on it I don't want to cut too much plastic filler off just to, to start with I want to be very light and start sanding it and getting that line to uh, take the original shape we can see as we're removing the plastic filler the guide coat is also disappearing which is a good indication that we're getting close to having this area have the correct shape Again, with the hard block it gives me a nice straight um, surface to block this down with and I can kind of roll it and um, sand it back and forth gently just to get that little bit of curve in it as well this doesn't take much work it has already it, we've already achieved the basic shape with the blade and now we're just doing a little bit of blocking on that putty glaze that we put on there to finish that area knocking down the bottom section a little bit again I'm just smoothing it until the guide coat is been sanded off and I know that I'm pretty much in the right spot in terms of achieving the shape we're looking to duplicate sanding it down a little bit on the front of the sweep knocking it down and this is how it looks it's looking really good we'll take a foam block and just lightly hit that edge where it curves in tightly in the corner and outside a little bit just to give it a little bit more fineness to its shape now we can see we've done that to various spots on this car as we go along if we have to extend it out a little bit in order to make the shape uh, smoothly flowing throughout the panel we do that you can see the bottom we've done there on the flare and uh, up along top too along the drip rail there were areas and uh, 
We can see on the other side we have the same sort of thing. Um, the failure took place in the tight corners, either under the drip rail, along the style lung down, down the side, or the indentation where a window would normally be. We go around here and look and we see this is it finished up. We did take it out a little bit further just to make it fit smoothly, a smooth transition. And we're getting pretty much close to having this blended in to the original uh, panel that has uh, work, uh, plastic work done all all over this uh, back section of this um, panel truck. We went down a little bit further here just to um, make sure that we have a perfect shape before we prime it. What we try to do is get it to have an absolute perfect shape where the primer doesn't fill anything. It just creates a, a layer over the plastic filler that isolates the plastic filler so it doesn't absorb the paint when we do the top coat. See this other side we moved out quite a bit from the original damage just to make sure we have it smooth. The blocking showed us that we needed to do a little bit. Uh, we had to extend it out a little bit more just to get it uh, to have a completely uh, correct shape. I also marked in the lowest spot with a pencil just to give me an indication so I can sight it out as well and be sure that it has this exact shape. So these little spots turn out to be a bit more than just uh, dealing with them initially, but we also have to make sure that the repair blends completely into the original shape of the work that was done on the car originally. We can see here now we've primed it and we've uh, sanded it and we can look at it and see that it, it has the exact shape that it had originally. Um, it has all the imperfections corrected and it's ready for some uh, spotting in, blending it in with the same color that um, the car was painted with. We look around the other side and we can see we have um, completed the primer work there as well, sanded it, blocked it, and have it ready for paint. We'll be painting the whole back of it, clear coating the entire back and blending it in to cover the primer, of course, and to uh, give it an even surface. And here we can see that we've painted it. We've also done some graphic work uh, at the customer's request in the uh, window panel section and um, pinstriped around that as well to give it a little accent and to, to balance out the, uh, the appearance of the vehicle. It's looking really great. We can see along all those areas that we did the repairs. It looks completely natural. It has no deviation from the uh, shape that was done when this car was originally shaped and painted. Around the wheel flare there, looks really great. Um, all the uh, repairs blend seamlessly into the body of the car. It's looking really good. It should, um, it goes without saying that the paint blends in beautifully and uh, this repair should last this older custom car uh, quite a long time. When you do a repair, if you 
approach it cleaning all the metal correctly and going through all the steps this car had is really a nice looking car it just had a few little deficiencies in it but now that those are corrected it's back in the show circuit it's a great looking car and um, it's smoothed out beautifully well, thank you for watching the video and if you have any car that has uh, either previous plastic work on it the blade makes it very easy to repair these types of vehicles and to uh, fix cars that have plastic filler on them already which most custom cars do thanks for watching the video watch all of our videos on youtube and tell all your friends about it <laughs>